If you want to keep an eye on your staff during an event, then naturally you should jump to the staff menu. There's two key functions over here that'll help you. The where are they button. Um, what that's going to do right now is go out and find all the staff in your company and A, whether they're clocked in or clocked out. So whether they're on the clock or whether they're at home. And if they're on the clock, who their supervisor was, uh, when the last time they clocked into any site was, what current site they're clocked in under. And if I click the map button, it's going to show a map of uh, that crew's location when they clocked in. So as they're clocking in, I can make sure they're actually at the job that they're at and not at home or at a restaurant or anywhere else that they say they're at. So that's one quick way to do it. The other way, and, and perhaps a more handy way, might be the daily dashboard. So the daily dashboard, down in the bottom right, it says tracking setup. And what it allows me to do is I can pick the employees that I want to track. So if I don't want to track Leela because she's not part of my department, and I don't want to track uh, Mark, and I don't want to track uh, Jana. I don't have to. They can turn them off. So I can set up who it is that I want to track as a user. And then I'll click Save. And then what that'll do is show me all the employees that I'm responsible for tracking. And as the event goes through the night or the day, I can see what time that crew clocked in, what time the crew last clocked out of a site, and in brackets here, how many sites that they've finished so far. So what it's saying is Sam started at 6.51. The last time he clocked out of any site was 11.54, and he's done five sites so far. So if I click Sam's row there, I now get a live history, so more or less a live site log of exactly what Sam's been doing from 6.51 to 7.38. He was at the shop, load, unload, driving. So it took him 47 minutes to get out of the shop. He was at Speedy Gas Bar for an hour. He was then at this Acme Business Center for two hours, one minute, and then D.D. Davidson School, and now at XYZ School, and that's ongoing. So this is, again, up to the minute. You can see exactly where they are. So that's a really handy way of tracking. The other neat thing about this screen here is you can make this screen accessible to field foremen. So even if their foremen aren't administrators and they don't have access to all this, uh, sometimes you have a field foreman who manages other foremen, and they're here, there, and everywhere. And so they need the ability to see where their other guys are if they need to call for backup or redispatch somebody or whatever. So you can actually make this screen here, the daily dashboard, available on the foreman's phone. And the way to do that is to go to staff and open the foreman that it is who you want to be able to see other foremen. So in this case, I'll say Francis Foreman here. We're going to give him the ability to track other foreman's whereabouts. So I'm going to open Francis, and there's a button here that says Can Track Employees. I'm just going to tick that on and hit OK. And now when Francis clocks in on his smartphone, he's going to have a new button at the top of his home screen. There's going to be time for timesheets. There's going to be uh, crew, so he can set up his crew. And the third one's going to be dash. And if he hits dash, it will show him all the people he wants to see. Francis will have the same ability you have. He can set the three or four or five or however many uh, underlings that he wants to track, and then he can track their whereabouts through the night in real time. So he doesn't have to make three or four phone calls to find who might be best suited to go uh, put out a fire somewhere. He can check his dashboard. He can see how everybody's doing. He can see how many sites they've completed so far and can dispatch the, uh, the closest or the, uh, the employee who's furthest along uh, in the route. Uh, finally, the last way you can you can always go to the timesheet screen, and here live is the timesheets that are being packed uh, that are being uh, filled out right now. So you can obviously click on someone's timesheet and go in and see any data. Um, my best experience is avoid clicking the timesheets. Uh, reason being is if you make a change and then the informant makes a change, you could overwrite uh, their work. This is live snow log in progress, and it's no different than opening a Word document that somebody else is working on and making changes to it. Somebody's going to overwrite somebody's work. So um, this is super. You can approve timesheets and do all this after that. I avoid timesheets during an event um, in an emergency or in a pinch. Absolutely, you can do it. Um, if you're looking at anything that's already been filled out, so for example, if I'm opening a site and seeing what he did, uh, that's already been filled out. As long as I don't touch it, I'm not going to uh, impact anything there. Um, uh, but best practice would be to avoid this so that you don't even accidentally overwrite somebody's work while they're working out in the field. Those are three ways to keep track of staff while the event happens.